good afternoon telvin so welcome to today's uh, session and uh, today we will be revising uh, what we did yesterday yesterday uh, yesterday we discussed about dbms languages so we'll do a revision because of uh, bad uh, internet connectivity yesterday we were not able to finish uh, the lecture so we'll do a recap and we'll continue the uh, the revision of dbms languages so let's proceed uh, with the first slide so in this uh, session we'll talk about dbms language if you read uh, the slide it says a dbms package has suitable languages to deal with database queries and updates which are used to read insert and modify the data in the database so when you have to interact with a dbms you have to use a dbms language and uh, we we have different categories for different purpose of interactions i mean for different kind of interactions for defining any data we will be using ddl language for performing certain operations on data we will be using data manipulation language and to set the privileges or to control the privileges we will be using the control language data control language and in case of transaction we have a uh, you know one more category that is called transaction control language <clears throat> so let's start with the the first uh, language of dbms that is data definition uh, language so if you read uh, the definition here uh telvin am i audible to you i think we got disconnected yes tell me now we are back and uh, i will be talking about uh, the languages of dbms so we'll first see the data definition language so if you read the slide here it says data definition language is used to design the database structure or schema so the language which you use to design the database structure yes sir uh, the language we use to design the database structure you know when you start microsoft access you create your database you create your tables you create different columns you set primary keys you set data types for each column the task you are doing initially at the first level is using the ddl language data definition language because you are defining your database structure or schema all right yes sir and uh, you know in ddl uh, we we are talking about different commands like create command create command comes under the category of ddl we create tables we create databases alter command is used to alter the structure let's say you have to change the type of data you are storing in a table let's say right now i'm storing a alpha numeric value now i want to switch to a numeric value only so i will use a alter command to modify uh, the type of data i'm storing in a particular column so alter command is used to make alteration in the schema or the structure of dbms and uh, next we have drop command drop command is used to drop the database or table drop means like deleting everything deleting data along with the structure or schema of the database right and rename it's very clear here rename means renaming uh, the table or a database name or column names you can also uh, you know rename it uh next we have i i hope you are able to see my screen yes sir i'm seeing it okay 
uh, next is data uh, manipulation language data manipulation language is a dbms language which is used to perform data operation so you have to pay uh, attention on the word data operation when you have to perform certain operation in the database then you will be using data manipulation language operations like you know you have to update a record or you have to insert a new record or delete the existing record or you have to retrieve uh, records on the basis of certain conditions and generate reports out of that so you will be performing different operations and uh, for performing operations on the data you will be using data manipulation language uh telvin please uh, stop me if you are facing any difficulty to understand uh, any point okay and also you know i i, I shared the recorded lecture yesterday so i hope uh, you you watched that lecture yes sir okay so next we move to data control language and uh, data control language is used to control to control the access to control the access of database we we set the privileges here we'll define who will be accessing our data we have variety of users who will be using our database so we have to set the permissions for each user if you are an administrator you will be having all the rights of a database and if you are a simple clerk you will be only viewing the data so you have only the viewing rights so data control language is used to you know grant and revoke the permissions so you grant a specific permission to a user or after the work you will revoke that permission or let's say the person left the organization so you have to revoke all the permissions granted to him before yes yes uh take take an example you know if xyz company has a employee and the person is working just since long now he left the organization but he has all the credentials and he has all the permissions of the database so you have to stop unauthorized access of your database you will revoke all the permissions granted to him right so for this purpose you know we use a data control language in dbms right now uh, we are talking about transaction control language so first you should understand what is transaction means what is transaction uh, the, yeah that's a language that is that i'm asking what is transaction in a layman language what do you mean by the term transaction if somebody says transaction what do you mean by this term transaction in a layman language in a general language yes i would say it's like the um... yes go ahead it's like security security why no let's take an example a transaction means you know kind of any 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 exchanging any exchanging of information or data like you know or you can say give and take if you are uh, you know you are in a you know bank and you have to you know make entries of the you know people are coming and they are depositing money and they are withdrawing money so you are making entries so this is this record keeping basically is uh, you know transaction the activities you are doing it in the office in a dbms system transaction means interaction with the database for updating the records for updating the records or you can say for deleting the records for updating the records and for saving the new records so we perform certain operation we perform certain transactions with uh, on the database so to control these transactions so that data will be stored properly uh, in the database we have to use a transaction control language it will control uh, you know how data is being stored 
so that there should be uh, there should be no uh, data inconsistency you know uh, if you use a atm card and uh, you know there are many people are accessing a database of the bank you know uh, the user as end user you will be using database to withdraw your money in the bank people are using uh, to see the customers account or maybe other agencies are using a bank's database to see other uh, items or other details so everybody is accessing data at the same time right and to ensure to ensure whether data is uh, you know uh, are getting updated or storing uh, in a in efficient manner or in a proper way and there is no data inconsistency we have to control the transactions and we have to manage each transactions right we have to manage and we have to control each transaction and for this purpose we will be using the transaction control language because multiple users will be interacting with the database at the same time right also you know when you when you start interaction with the database your session will start your your uh, timing will be logged in the database that this particular time this particular user started interaction with the database and uh, yes 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 uh, when i insert my debit card i supply my password then i will make certain transactions with whether i will withdraw money or i'll see my uh, you know account balance or i make certain requests using atm machine so these are the different transactions or activities i will be performing on the terminal right yes yes and these activities uh, are being controlled are being controlled by a runtime database manager with the help of a transaction control language so with the help of transaction control language he will be managing the transaction and we have three different commands which comes under this category the first one is commit command commit comes when you are you know when you have successfully saved your data or successfully made your transaction let's say i go to a bank i use my atm card and i withdraw certain amount of money from my account and transaction is done successfully it means it's a commit and that you know that uh, record will be updated in the database that this person has withdraw 10000 or 5000 dollar from his account so accordingly his account will be debited and the record will be updated accordingly in the database so this is commit if transaction is successful right do you understand what i am saying telvin here yes sir and roll back comes into a picture when you have to revert the transaction when you have to revert that what you have done it uh let me let me share a uh, uh, latest example you know uh, last month i went to i'm sharing my personal experience i went to a mathai store you know mathai store yeah so i went there i used my uh, atm card uh, to make the payment there so they 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 swipe my card and uh, you know the amount is debited from my account but they have not received it they are saying they, they don't have a money they have not received and but it says that account is debited and i see a message from the bank that uh, you know so much of dollar has deducted from your account so i ask the manager there that what happened with that so they are saying you know i don't know there is certain error with the internet connection and the transaction is aborted so we are not able to receive your money so you have to consult bank and ask about this so what i did then i paid them in a cash so i paid them in a cash then i consult with the bank what is the problem they are saying the transaction was aborted in between and the money is stuck there in the system so it's so it's not with the mathai and it's not with the in my account is stuck somewhere so what they are saying you know for this purpose you know you have to ask uh, your merchant to provide a letter so that he will not claim this money in future and we will reverse that amount to your account so i went to mathai i asked the manager so they issued me a letter then i submit the letter to a bank then you know bank will revert that amount to my account so today i received my account, uh, money back <laughs> so it took a long it took a one month time and the, i i checked the transaction history online 
it shows the transaction is pe pending transaction is pending and the meaning of pending is that transaction amount is not claimed by the merchant if merchant will not claim the uh, money then it will remain pending in the system all right so i asked the managers of bank manager did a roll back they reverse the transaction so the amount will credit it to the source account that is my account so this is the concept of roll back here so this is how they do a roll back if transaction stuck somewhere or it's a wrong transaction or there is a you know transaction abort or a failure do you understand yes. and the last thing is a safe point and save point you know we discussed yesterday also save point is uh, the point at which you left now it will resume from the same point i gave you an example of a microsoft word you are working on a, a document and in between there is a power failure so microsoft inbuilt uh, application will make a save point will create a save point in the system so that when power comes back you will start from the point where you left that is a safe point concept right i hope you are understanding what i am saying here all right so please read this the last <laughs> code given here zones so you have to come out from a comfort zone to understand the technology you have to come out of your current situation to see what is happening around the world how you can make your life better right so to now we are going to see the quiz so we are moving to a quiz of dbms language do you see the screen now okay now answer this question it says which of the following is not the dbms language you have options given there yes sir which is not pay attention on the word not the dbms language yes can you please tell me the full form or uh, you know uh, the abbreviation of these uh, dcl ddl and dml yes sir what is dml right ddl and dcl you know what why i am doing this because you will remember these short terms when it comes in the exam okay so the answer is perfect correct now next question is renaming a table comes under which dbms language you have to rename uh, your dbms uh, data table so which uh, language will you be using for renaming your table all right selecting records from the table right that is a data operation yes sir granting permissions to user right dash is used to execute and control the changes made by dml statement which one 
DDL, are you sure? Pay attention. Dash is used to execute and control the changes. To control the changes. Tell me why it's wrong. Is a data control language. See here. This is here. And uh, we'll see. Do you see my screen? Yes, sir. See, it deals with the privileges, right? But the question says is used to execute and control the changes made by DML. So which language we are using it here? Yeah, transaction. Con so it's the same question, you know, it's rightly given in the slide. See, so the answer is TCL, transaction control. Control is okay because if we say control, it means I'm talking about TCL or DCL. Now you have to pay attention after that changes made by DML statement. So for controlling the DML statement, I will be using TCL. Yes. If it's a control only, then you could choose a DCL. But if I say control the changes made by DML statements, then you will be choosing TCL. TCL. Right. Now, next one is dropping table come under which DBMS language? Perfect. Uh, Dash is uh, used to design database structure or schema. To design the structure or schema, which language we use? Language, yes. For data operations. Yeah, data manipulation language. Perfect. Now, see, now it says control the privileges. Now, here I'm specifying control the privileges. Now, you should know the DCL. If it's control the privileges, then DCL, if it is to control and manage DML statements, then transaction. Dash is an operation which returns the database to some previous state. If there is a, a bot or there's a transaction failure, then you will do a reverse or return back to a previous state. Yes, sir. Tell me my question is that Dash is an operation which returns the database to some previous state. Go back right. Dash is a point within a transaction that can be rolled back to, that can be rolled back to without affecting any work done in the transaction before. Pay attention. What I'm saying is a point, is a point. Read the question carefully. Safe point, sir. Perfect. It means that when you, when you, doing a transaction and there is any 
technical error and your transaction is aborted in between then that moment of time a safe point will be created in the system so that next time you can resume from the same point or you can roll back to a previous state yes, sir. right so that is a safe point because there is no commit so it will not affect any work it will be a temporary hold in the system yes next is in the context of a database transaction a dash refers to the saving of data permanently after a set of tentative changes yes commit so commit comes you know when your transaction is done successfully you are okay then it will be updated in the system so that is a com commit and commit is permanently right now dash is responsible for maintaining a user session user session that is database login and log out yes so system is responsible for maintaining your session yes tcl stands for transaction control language perfect what is the purpose of dbms languages yes so with the help of dbms languages we can read insert and modify the data we can deal with database queries we can control database access permissions and we can commit transactions in the database so all the above are the valid points so these are the purposes of dbms languages right perfect telvin so i hope we have reviewed and we have covered dbms languages and you should not have any doubt left with this particular topic yes sir clear clear <laughs> yes sir right and uh, please also go through the slides of uh, previous sessions like database architecture and dbms components and database keys and please feel free to ask questions about those topics as well and tomorrow i will be talking about queries so we will we'll be learning about sql statements how to execute a sql statement and what is the syntax of the sql statement and how to write different functions aggregate and scalar functions in microsoft access all right so till then take care bye bye have a nice day okay really enjoy yes sir